I am a terrible waitress. Not for the fear of sweating, of being anchored, of being small, being treated small. Any insult they could dream up to dish out I can devour with ease. These pale in comparison to my own self-doubt, self-criticism, self-judgment. I am a terrible student. I question, I think, I do, I do, I think, I question, I question, I think, I do, I do, I think, I question. Notice, school, absent. School was where I compensated for not being pretty, not being thin, not being popular, not having friends, not being cool, not being attractive, not, being, not having my father's attention, not being an athlete, not being a cheerleader, not being a beauty queen. None of that shit matters when you have a solid GPA, especially when you are the only black person, black woman, non-native Spanish speaker, Belizean, you compensate. Your GPA becomes your companion. The only one you can talk to who does not correct your Spanish. Laugh and shake their heads when you confuse words. Laugh when you don't understand words, jokes, paragraphs, chapters, books, things. Now in this GPA free place, what can quantify me? How can I be judged among women who, are, who have it together, who stayed in school, who are able to become wives, able to build families, homes, careers? I am a terrible judge of what success is, of what true love is, of what sacrifice is, of what failure is, of what hatred is, of what giving up is. I am unsuccessful because I do not have, to quote Gil Scott Heron, a good home and a wife, husband and children to feed them every night. I am not loved because I relied on the fantasy of your mania, your delusion and allowed that whimsy to fool me. Nietzsche says love is madness, so of course I thought that I was loved until you were medicated, treated, institutionalized and the whimsy ended. No, Katie, you need to stop calling and live your life and leave me alone and don't come see me and forget about me and move on and do your own thing and I am messed up and I don't want you to see me like this and I'm so sorry. Sorry, Katie. No. Just hang up. Leave me here cold. Reeling in the tempest of what was simultaneously the most beautiful and the most ugly thing to have transpired in my life. The most happy and the most sad. The most serious and the most frivolous. Leave me here alone with this and then silence. No, I am not loved. I was not before you. I wonder if you will ever abandon my dreams so that I can sleep restfully. I do not sacrifice myself. The minute things complicate themselves, I run. I run at night because I am a late riser, because I am a late sleeper. I am testing my lungs, building them. That is the only sacrifice I know when my body screams, stop, and I said, no, but they'll run, run some more, no, stop. I don't know failure, I fail every day. I have perfected the art of losing, and so when I fail again, I don't slump over in defeat, but find silver linings, a way around that option B or beyond, a reason to run, run some more, no, stop. I don't know what hatred is. If I name it, it exists. If it exists, I am ashamed to admit how much of it I consume and churn out. I don't know what giving up is because even if you do, life goes on. So all I could do is run, run some more, not stop.